Oh, come ye good gentles, I'll tell you a tale. Hark to my lay of Harper's Vale, where an honest widow dwelt with her child, who'd lost her husband in torrent wild. The good taught widow Johnson in the village stayed, and as a sempstress plied her trade. Though poor, still young, and fair was she, and the townsfolk were plagued with jealousy. Her skirts above the ankle were sh shorn when she fared forth on Sunday morn. Nor coif nor bonnet did this widow wear upon her tresses of raven hair. The sheriff came to her home one day, said that her child should be taken away, summoned her next and night to appear, their accusations for to hear. Quoth he, Worthy Master Taylor said that on work days you lie too long a bed, for you in the alehouse tarry late, your child deserveth not this fate. The court of requests did meet next week, Goody Johnson strode in, nor mild nor meek, a poor woman I, I work for my bread. Furthermore, tis what this good wife said. Tis true that Robert Taylor came unto my house that Tuesday same, his breeks and doublet for me to mend, though his own manservant he could send. Tis true I was slow to come to the door, for my child had fallen upon the floor. A grievous blow took she to her head, and so I was tucking her into bed. Quoth Taylor, then so bold of face, I prithee mend my garments of post haste. My own good wife, she hath not the skill, but to fly my needle was not of his will. For this day was Taylor's seventh attempt to enter my home with ill intent. He essayed to kiss and fondle me, so his mending was but a ruse, you see. I've noticed, too, when he is gone to Wappington Cross before the dawn, his lady doth order cutlass fine and Master Kelly's choicest wine. Our good Lord Mayor doth come to call, leaving his clerks to mind the hall. So what Mistress Taylor doth, you see, is but to pay her legal fee? Good Sheriff Baker, pray tell us true, why your honest housekeeper, honest Prue, left town last evening, traveling light, a weeping in the dead of night. And Widow Jones at the edge of town, you really should shut close your shutters down, engaging in merry revelry with a smith's lad performing for all to see. I see our Lord Mayor could not attend, for to Kelly's this day his way he did wend. In a corner you'll find him by the door, a snoring upon the alehouse floor. <sighs> Good Mistress Thompson she should know, for I did pass her not long ago. From Kelly she came, looking pale as death, with nary a clove to sweeten her breath. The morrow. A rabbi there was from Galilee, there came to him the Pharisee. They brought a wretched woman in, who had engaged in grievous sin. A death by stoning twas all a law, but said the rabbi, there be this flaw. Unless you have sinned, not cast no stone, the man who claims thusly stands alone. Oh, yes. <laughs>